Oh, sure. But I think the reason he said that was to explain why he might not produce everything in the report, because they might be relevant to ongoing investigations. He had to say that, and we all know that there are investigations by the Southern District. But it's important that we did learn there are no sealed indictments, that there's no recommendation in the report for any further indictments, and so this is not what many people feared, just shifting it over to the Southern District and saying, we're not going to indict this guy, but maybe you should. That was done with the Attorney General as far as the uh, obstruction of justice, but he didn't do it with the Southern District. So, look, this is a good day for the President. It's a very, very bad day for CNN. I have to tell you, there should be hanging their head in shame when you think about how many people went out on a limb and predicted there would be indictments for obstruction, there would be indictments for collusion, there would be indictments for this and for that. They made it seem like it was an open and shut case, and they misinformed the American public. And they have to have some public accountability when you say things that turn out not to be true. Look, I've been vindicated. I've been saying this from day one and been criticized and uh, condemned for simply doing a legal analysis that I think any reasonable objective nonpartisan lawyer would have done would have come to the same conclusion I came to and essentially the conclusion that was come to today by the Attorney General.